Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are gonna spill the tea on why I got banned from whatnot. I've gotten a lot of new followers lately and I feel like a lot of you guys don't know the story of what happened. You've heard whispers, you've heard the rats and the roaches whispering about me, but they're saying false fucking things. So I'm here. <laughs> to clear it up. So I started selling on whatnot in June of 2022. I think Nicole's date started, I want to say either like a month before me or a month after me. I'm not entirely sure, but it was around the same time. I don't remember when I made my first video about Nicole's date. I'll have to look when I'm editing this and I'll put it on the screen. So the first issue that I had with whatnot, they sent me an email on January 7th, 2023. Hi there. I'm going to show you screenshots too, because we always come with proof and evidence. We do. Hi there. At what now we've created a fun, safe, and inclusive community. Have you? Have what? If we find evidence that you were dishonest or have mistreated another person or a WhatNot employee either on or off the platform, you may be temporarily or permanently banned from WhatNot. Violation summary. Speaking negatively about other users off platform and harassing users if they support other sellers. Due to multiple violations for inappropriate content or conduct, your account is suspended effective immediately. They suspended my account for seven days because I was speaking negatively about other users off platform, AKA outing Nicole State as a scammer, providing proof that Nicole State was a scammer. I believe Nicole was the only person that I was talking about at that point. I don't know. I mean, there probably were other scammers and whatnot, but I don't, I wasn't talking about anyone else. It was just Nicole State. Um, so yeah, I'm going to speak negatively about her because she is a scammer. And then this part, harassing users if they support other sellers. <laughs> I feel like they're referring to Instagram DMs where I had a couple conversations with people and I was like, Hey, Nicole State's a scammer. You're supporting her. That's fucked up. Like that's, that's literally what they're talking about. <laughs> Again, this is all off platform, okay? I never once did anything on the WhatNot platform that would warrant me getting suspended or banned. This was all off platform. And what's funny, what's funny is that I had a conversation, I'm gonna name drop too. I had conversations with Avery from WhatNot and Juliet from WhatNot. I believe Avery is a seller on there now or he doesn't work for WhatNot um, and Juliet, I don't know, but this was back in 2022 when I had these conversations. I talked to them about my YouTube channel and how that's completely separate. It's separate. We got whatnot. We got YouTube. They're separate. They are separate. And they're like, oh yeah, yeah, that's totally fine. You know, we know people have, you know, other things going on. You know, they have other social media accounts. Like, we just don't want you to bring the drama to whatnot, which never happened. But then I get this email on April 20th, 2023. Hi there, your account was reported for a potential policy violation. Following a thorough investigation, we determined that you were harassing another WhatNot user on your YouTube channel. And they have a link to a video. We're gonna, we're gonna watch that video. We're gonna, we're gonna speed it up because it's like a 15 minute video, but we're gonna watch it. Due to continued violations for inappropriate content or conduct, your account is banned effective immediately. Because of the video that I made calling out Nicole State with testimonials and proof from people, Whatnot decided to ban me because they said that it was harassment. Who the fuck do you think you are, Whatnot? Saying that you can control what I do on YouTube? No. So I can't make a YouTube video calling out a scammer on your platform. Ultimately, the reason I got banned from whatnot was because of the YouTube video we're gonna watch in a minute. It was about Nicole State. Nicole State is gonna deny, I didn't get her banned. Like what? <laughs> yes, you did. A lot of people ask me like, why are you making these videos about her? Blah, blah, blah. So it was never personal before I got banned from whatnot. Like I was just going by what other people told me. I was, you know, helping others to spread the message. I was getting other people's stories out there. It was never personal. But ever since then, it's been personal. I was selling on WhatNot at that point. I had been on WhatNot for almost a year. I was making multiple, multiple five figures a month. Like I was doing very well selling on WhatNot. So for that fucking bitch to take that away from me, that's why I will not stop until she is banned from WhatNot. Because of a video that I made about her speaking the truth, showing evidence that she was scamming. Now it's personal. A lot of people are like, oh, just give it up. Just give it up. Uh, no. No, 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 no. If you guys don't know, I have a husband. We have five children. So that was very fucking personal. So that's why I will not stop. That's why I clap back at the haters that are like, oh, just give it up. Stay in your own lane. No, no. You don't get to do that and get away with it and continue your bad behavior of scamming and hurting 
thousands of people at this point. No. See, I will continue to make videos about her exposing the true person that she is. Yes, I will be petty and do a YouTube live with her brother-in-law and let him spill everything, even stuff that isn't relevant. Yes, I will. And I'll continue to do it until she's held accountable. Okay, we're gonna watch the video now. Side note, this video was made on April 19th, 2023. Whatnot sent me that email that I was banned the very next day. When the fuck has their turnaround time ever been that quick? Hey guys, it's time. It's time to make another video talking about Nicole State and her scams and her shady ways because I'm just literally fucking sick of it. I am getting messages literally weekly from people telling me that they've been scammed by Nicole. Nicole's done this to them. Look what Nicole's doing now. It's fucking crazy and it needs to stop. I'm not mad that people send me messages. I feel like they're sending me messages because they know that I can be a voice and they have no voice or they don't want to have a voice. They want me to help them. Okay, no shade towards people sending messages, but it is literally out of fucking control and something needs to be done. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link a playlist down below. I have a bunch of videos talking about Nicole State, talking about her past scams. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to read you guys some of the messages that I've received over the past uh, few months. I'm not going to say names because a lot of people want to remain anonymous. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to tell you guys, these are just some of the messages I've received and the shit is not stopping. She did go maybe like a year, maybe a little bit under a year without scamming that we know about, that we know about. Let me, let me say that because she could have done shit that nobody spoke up about. But as far as I know, she went like a good, I want to say almost a year without doing anything shady again that I know about. But ever since she decided to sell on a live selling platform, the scams will start happening again. Another important thing to note is that I never said the name whatnot in this video. I referred to it as a live selling platform. So I never fucking mentioned the name whatnot in this video. It was actually a genius move for her because new platform means new people that don't know about your past. And that's why I gotta remind myself when I see literally like 400, 500 people in her shows is that the majority of these people don't know about her past. They don't know about her um, because there's no way that many people <laughs> would be accepting of the shit that she's done. Like there are a few, there are a few. And this could be a whole other video. Um, the amount of two-faced people is actually insane. It's like, you were just texting me and messaging me about how much you hate her and now you're in her show modding for her. Like, you... <laughs> and these people are like older too. We're talking like 50s, 60s, you know, like older people that should fucking know better. And I know some people use the excuse like, oh, people can change. You know, she's a changed person. It's like, absolutely people can change. Yes, it's possible to, you know, make a lot of mistakes and then change and become, you know, a better person. But not Nicole. That's never gonna fucking happen with her. Never. And you're a fucking fool if you think it is. So these are just some recent, recent screenshots I'm gonna show you. Um, some of these are talking about recent events. Others are talking about events that happened like um, a year ago, maybe a couple years ago. But it's relevant because she's still scamming to this day. So again, if she was like, a changed person, like, okay, that was her past. You can forget about it. But it's actually her fucking present as well. It was her past and it's still her fucking present. You guys, this literally pisses me the fuck off because the shit that she gets away with is insane. It's absolutely insane. This person said, and I'll put screenshots up so you guys can see, but again, I'm blowing out names because I know people want to remain anonymous. This person said, I remember participating in a giveaway Nicole State was hosting. Supposedly, I was chosen and won a planner that she created. So she had this time in her life when she created a planner, which is a fucking joke. She scammed people. Obviously, this person's one of them. Um, but she never sent it out. She just did a giveaway to gain followers of her own selfish gain. Other people who were supposed winners also did not receive their planners. Nicole State is so dishonest and shady to say the least. She'll backstab Bella resellers and her followers. So the thing is, if she were genuine and authentic, she would be way more successful. Joke is on her. The only person she hurts is herself. Okay, so this actually happened recently. This was fucking hilarious. Um, okay, this person said, okay, girl, I had to see what was going on in Nicole State shows tonight after I saw your recent story. I don't, I don't remember what story she's referring to. Um, anyway, she said, I'm floored by what I came into seeing and I'm dying to share it with someone. So one of her mods tried talking shit about a buyer who just paid $275, but her shit talking came through on the chat. <laughs> See the screenshot below. Um, I will show you that screenshot. What floored me more than the comment was that Nicole and the other mod lied and flat out told the viewers she copied and pasted a personal text. How are people accepting this bullshit? It's hilarious. Uh, which, by the way, I, I can't say too much about um, group texts and whatever um, because there's legal stuff happening. But just know, once the legal stuff is over, just know. Okay. That's all I'm gonna say. Hey, this person I've talked about this before. I'm pretty sure I showed these screenshots in a previous video, but she said I used to list from the cool state around the time everything happened with her business. I think she's talking about her ripoff uh, mystery boxes, that little venture that did not fucking work out, the merch or whatever the fuck it was called. That she basically ghosted me and never paid me. We also made a deal on trading some listings for a blanket and a wine bottle opener, and that never got sent to me because she kept forgetting. It's been all over a year, and she owes me around three hundred dollars. In the long run, it's not a lot. I mean, three hundred dollars is a lot of money. It is. It is. She said when something goes wrong in her life, she plays the victim and makes others pay the consequences as well. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. She does. Um, so yeah. So basically, this person used to listen to Nicole. She then sent me screenshots of like their conversation, and Nicole was basically like just blowing her off. It was fucking pathetic. Okay. This person said I spent five days in Texas with her, where she abused people mentally and verbally. I bought something from her way back before when I was a part of her accountability group, and she lied about what I got. She literally sent five pairs of black Target pants, size extra small and extra extra large. She's a straight up liar and a thief. Um, now I know recently she had like a meetup in Vegas, and I know people that went there. Like, oh my god, she's such a nice person. It's like. <laughs> Your little fake Vegas meetup. Like, obviously, she's gonna put on a front. Obviously. Maybe it's not obvious to you, but it's obvious to me and anyone with that fucking brain. Um, yeah, just because she was nice to your face. Like, no, that doesn't mean shit. It does not mean shit, okay? But yeah, but I know they're probably thinking that. If you want to Vegas, oh, I hung out with her. She's actually such a nice person. Like, <laughs> she's got you fucking fooled. This person said, I saw something interesting during Nicole State's sale this morning. I like to pop into the big seller show to see what they're doing. LOL. So, anyway, one of her big reseller friends bid on this coat, perhaps shield bidding, and she ended up winning it. So, a little while later, she said Nicole can give the coat away as a giveaway. And Nicole says she can't do that because shipping will be too much. Cut to 10 minutes later, and Nicole State cancels her order, all while they joke about it, and run it again so someone else can buy it. Which is fine, except I've read several accounts of people asking Nicole to cancel, and she says no, and then talking mean about them in the shows. So she's gonna cancel stuff for her friends, but not for people, like other people that buy stuff from her. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Okay, this person just said, I got scammed so bad by Nicole State. I watched another show of hers and I was like, okay, let me Google this person, so not something I do. I just have to thank you for calling her out. I don't have the money to spend, but I accidentally bid. It wasn't going to be that person. And the $300 box was all from Ross. I legit went there the next day and found the same items from her last two shows. But what got me most about the box was that it was worth less than $50. I love how she scams people with her games. First of all, she was selling mystery boxes that she hadn't even purchased yet. People were buying legit fucking mystery boxes that didn't even exist yet. She'd have like 10 mystery boxes and buy it now.
This person said, hi, I found you on YouTube. I have a very big issue currently with Nicole State and possibly another user. I would love your help. I've contacted the live selling platform to explain what happened. I have PTSD and situations like this um, are what put me in my trigger. I'm a new seller on here. Um, I've been very active since August. Okay, so she sent me screenshots. Um, so basically what happened was in one of Nicole's shows, somebody else bought, uh, I don't think it was a mystery box. It was a box with a lot of um, <laughs> expensive shit you can find at the fucking outlets at Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, places like that, um, handbags, and like a few other things. So basically somebody else in the show bought the box for this person that messaged me. So Nicole sent her the wrong box and this person messaged Nicole. This is this person's message to Nicole. She said, I received an incorrect shipment. I have a screenshot of the box blank purchase for me versus the box that I received. I'd like to return this for the correct box. If you please advise me, that'd be great. Nicole's response was, hey, uh, sorry, I don't think it's now. Uh, and I need to get home uh, before I can figure it out. Uh, that's literally how she fucking talks. Uh, I believe we swapped with someone else. I'm so sorry. Uh. And then this person said, enjoy. Thank you. Say hi to everyone for me. So then Nicole replied, she said, I think I sent you a different bag from this person's order. I'm going to reach out to her. There's not much I can do. Usually we would just offer a full refund. I'm sorry for the mix up. We try to avoid these things because it's usually complicated and we have to pay $47 out of pocket. This person said, it's just disheartening. I was really looking forward to it. It was very nice and very public to not receive is sad. So basically, okay, hold on, stop right here. So basically in her show, um, this other buyer bought this huge, like the box was like $500, I think. So she bought a $500 box of stuff for another viewer. And you know, it looked great. It looked awesome during the show. Like, oh, that's such a kind thing to do. But this person never ended up receiving the box or didn't receive the right box. So I mean, rightly so, this person was like, oh, was that like all for show? She said, I suffer a lot of health issues, PTSD, anxiety, and more. I didn't ask for any of this. And the emotional roller coaster was a lot. She said, this is what happens behind the scenes when it looks like nice things are happening on screen. This was really unkind and cruel. Okay, I'm done now. Um, and then Nicole was, it was an honest mistake, and I went out of my way and paid out of pocket to send you the gift bag. Uh, I'm very sorry this happened, and I feel like it's getting blown out of the water. Uh, I did something nice. We mixed up the bags because there wasn't a packing slip. Uh, so again, like you really have to say, oh, I went out of pocket to pay for this. Like that defeats the whole purpose of a fucking gift. If you're doing something nice for someone, oh, this has happened to me. <laughs> this has happened to me recently. Actually, if you want to talk about it, I don't want to talk about it. But um, if you're doing something nice for someone and then you like turn around and throw it in their face, like that defeats the whole purpose like that no that doesn't no don't be a fucking shit person like that this person said then nicole blocked me i've never bought from her i was watching a show and someone gifted me their 500 dollars purchase to which nicole oh wait to which nicole offered to ship it to her all a nice show for 600 instead of the loaded box i was promised she sent me a tote that's currently 85 dollars online um i don't care about stuff for bags it's principle exactly 600 people think i got an amazing gift i didn't get it's not right and i totally agree with that yeah that was the most recent thing that has happened and like i said i just don't know how she can get away with this shit. Like, I have so many more messages. I literally could make a whole friggin' series about this. Like, literally the messages that I get uh, where people have received things, like, received the wrong things. They haven't received things. Like, oh, oh, now, now the popular thing to do is do a giveaway for gift cards, but send out gift cards with no money on them. Like, gift cards that weren't loaded. Nicole has done that to a few people, and I have proof. I have messages from people that that's happened to multiple people. I can understand maybe making a mistake. I don't, I don't know how that would be a mistake, though, because, um, like, I know I buy gift cards, like, I give out gift cards in my shows, and I know I don't leave the store until that second receipt comes out. Like, you get a regular receipt, and then you get another little receipt saying the gift card has been activated, and I know that I don't leave the store until I get that to make sure that it's activated. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I can understand maybe, like, one, especially if she's buying, like, cards in bulk, like, maybe she bought, like, ten cards at one time, like, oh, maybe one of them didn't get activated, but it's happened to multiple people. So, no, I don't believe that it was a mistake. I don't believe that for one fucking second. I just have to make this video and just get this off my chest and just tell you guys, I literally get messages from people weekly about things that have currently happened, or maybe something happened in the past, and they finally just got the courage to tell somebody about it. It's insane. Like, again, I can understand, you know, you have a past, you make mistakes, but you're still doing shady shit to this day. No. Stop. I don't want to get some people like, oh, Vanessa, why don't you stay in your own lane? Worry about yourself, Vanessa. I can't fucking worry about myself and stay in my own lane when I literally get messages from people weekly who are like depending on me to try to help them, to try to spread awareness. Like I'm literally the only person that has the balls to do it. Aside from Casey, who's Rockstar Flipper, he's literally the only other person that had the balls to call out Nicole State. And as always, there's gonna be people that turn this around and try to be like, oh, well, Vanessa just likes to start trauma. Honestly, baffling to me that people still have that mindset that they paint me out to be the bad person. Like I'm not the one scamming people. I'm not the one doing all the shit that Nicole's doing. I'm just telling you guys about it. So, yeah, let's turn this around and make it make it on me. Like I'm the bad person. That's so fucked up. It is so fucked up. I just laugh at it now. It just makes me laugh because these people. There's just no hope. There's just no hope for these people. Comment down below and let me know if you guys have had a bad experience with Nicole. You can always contact me privately if you don't want your name out there, but you want your story to be heard. Because I guess I'm just I'm just the person. I'm just the only person that will do that. That's why I made this video because I just want to keep you guys informed. Just make you aware. Be careful who you spend your money on because there are a lot of bad people out there. So once again, everything was turned around back on me, and I'm the bad person, and I got banned from whatnot because of that video. How fucking crazy is that? So there you have it. There's the reason why I got banned from whatnot comment down below let me know what you guys think do you think they should have banned me because of that video really curious what you guys think about this whole situation again don't believe the haters because this is the truth thank you guys so much for watching I will talk to you guys in my next video bye